When we started this study, what we were interested in is trying to figure out what predisposes people to becoming obese. Certainly when you look at our current population, there are some people that are more obese than others, and there's a whole range of that. And uh, we knew from previous studies that some of that was genetically predisposed. And to do this effectively, what we had to do is really bring together groups um, that could give us population-based data on people that have measures of obesity measured and also that have been genotyped or assayed for different changes in, in their genetic structure so that we can find uh, genetic changes that correlate with people becoming more obese and developing metabolic disease. More than 100 groups around the world came together in a consortium called the Genetics of Anthropometric Traits Consortium. And we got a working group together to pull the data and then look to find uh, specific regions of the, the genome that are associated with these conditions. And from that, as we put the data together, variants came out that were reproducibly associated with these traits, suggesting that they're real. And these variants were near genes that told us a little bit about the biological predisposition to obesity. We found 97 different regions of the genome that were associated with increased body mass index. And from these, we are able to sort of look near these areas and look at some of the genes that are in there and figure out what are the kinds of processes that may be related to predisposing people to obesity. Uh, surprisingly, you know, when we started off working on obesity, it's a metabolic condition. And so we were looking for metabolic processes, metabolic genes. But interestingly, one of the things we came across is that a lot of the genes or some of the areas that we were landing in actually played a role in sort of neuronal processes. And some of these neuronal processes that some of these genes play in make sense in retrospect. Some of them play a role in controlling appetite, um, but then some of them play a, seem to play a role in energy expenditure, in uh, physical activity. Uh, some of them seem to play very basic roles in how neurons talk to each other or signal from one another. And, and so really that opens up a whole new area of understanding for what causes uh, people to be predisposed to having higher obesity and higher rates of these other related metabolic diseases that we really weren't expecting. It was really very exciting to us as new ways to potentially understand this disease so we can do something about it. Obesity correlates with a lot of other metabolic diseases such as higher rates of diabetes, higher rates of cardiovascular disease, higher rates of cholesterol problems, higher rates of blood pressure problems. And we also found variants that not only affected body mass index but also affected these other traits. As people become obese, some people stay healthy, some people develop these metabolic diseases, uh, and we don't really know why that is. And when they do develop these diseases, some people develop different sets of them. Some people are obese and have diabetes, some people have, are obese and get heart disease. But now we are starting to find sort of genetic variants that predispose people to not only obesity, but some of these other metabolic diseases. So that's starting to get to a better understanding of, you know, how this causes disease. You know, you're defining the, the variants and then the genes that sort of underlie um, a predisposition to metabolic disease in general. So in the future, we may be able to subcategorize people into those that will sort of develop healthy obesity versus the ones that are gonna get the other metabolic complications of obesity, again, so that we can better tailor their care in the future. One of the things that becomes very evident from our work is that there's a lot of different causes of obesity, and uh, in particular, that affect body mass index. We have 97 different regions of the genome that associate with this trait. So uh, if people were waiting for one thing to come out of this that, that causes obesity so that we could cure it, that's not really what this condition is all about. We hope that we can look at you and sort of give you a better sense of, well, you know, if you gain weight, you may develop obesity, but you won't develop any other diseases, or you will become obese and be very at high risk of developing diabetes uh, or cardiovascular disease, and sort of be able to subclassify people into what really caused you to get to this point and to have this disease versus the person next to you.